Why invest in real estate? What's the big deal? If you've been interested in real estate investing but not quite sure what all the fuss is about, today's episode of the Invest Nest Real Estate Show is for you. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Invest Nest Real Estate Investing Show, a community for real estate investors to learn, network, and grow. Be sure to join the investnest.com and start learning and earning today. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Travis Murphy, your host of the Invest Nest Real Estate Investing Show. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and like button and of course go out and join the investnest.com. So people talk about real estate investing all the time, but what's the big deal about it? Today we're going to drill down on several reasons why real estate investing is such a great and powerful tool to building your path towards financial freedom and your net worth. There are so many reasons why real estate is such a great vehicle for investing, but today I'm going to cover four basic categories. Number one, the fact that anybody can do it. Number two, the fact that there are so many different ways to do it. Number three, the power and strength of the returns that it can provide. And number four, passive income and net worth. All right, so let's get started. First of all, anybody can do real estate investing. It doesn't take any licenses or there's no uh, training per se. You don't have to go get a college degree for it. There's so many different paths towards uh, investing in real estate and there's so many different ways you can do it. You can get creative. The possibilities are endless on how you can make money in real estate investing. There's no one way to invest in real estate. It doesn't matter what your background is whether you're a contractor or a realtor, or if you've never worked in real estate before. You might be good with numbers, you might have a bunch of money that you want to invest, but you've never done it before. The great thing is, is that you can educate yourself. You, there's tons of people to partner with. You can meet people on the investnest.com to partner with, and you can do it. You just have to get out there and start and get started. It's a very important to educate yourself, uh, but once you've gotten to that point, you need to take the first step. And that's the great, again, the great thing about real estate is that anybody can do it. And that brings us to the second topic, the, the number of ways you can invest in real estate. They are countless. There are endless possibilities with, when it comes to real estate, which makes it such a great uh, thing to do. You can be a flipper to try to raise short-term capital that you can invest. You can try to acquire and accumulate rental properties for the purposes of passive income. You may have a bunch of money that you want to put into an investment with other, another person or other people who are investing, such as a syndication, and just reap the rewards that come from that investment. There are countless ways to invest in real estate. You can do single family uh, rental properties, small multifamily rental properties, such as duplexes or triplexes. There are uh, multifamily apartment building investing, you know, anything from four units to 20 units and then beyond that there are syndications that you can do you can either be a syndicator where you pull other people's money uh, and you put the pack you put the deal together uh, and then the returns are split amongst your partners and investors you can partner with one or two or three other people on a specific deal or a specific project you can buy a small duplex or a triplex that you plan to live in while having other tenants in the other units that pay for your mortgage for you. And that's the great thing about real estate is that there is no one way to do it. You, the more creative you are and the more uh, networking you do, um, the more you educate yourself, the more likely you are going to have to succeed. And uh, in getting out there and finding different op opportunities, if you have the right tools in, in the shed, then you can figure out a way to put that deal together whether it's alone or with a partner or what have you. And so that's the, and that's the beauty. There's nothing holding you back. You can educate yourself on the investnest.com. You can meet and network with people on the investnest and you can get out there and start building your investment portfolio today. And now it's time for today's nest egg tip of the day. Today's tip is brought to you by firstchairshop.com. For all you mountain skier boarding enthusiasts, Check out the coolest new apparel for winter sport action on the firstchairshop.com. Firstchairshop.com wants to remind all you new investors to be sure you check out all aspects of a property when evaluating it. Not just how much money it brings in or how much the mortgage is going to be, but you're going to, che going to want to check items that could potentially be problematic, such as storm doors or poor drainage. 
These are things that can commonly break or cause expensive problems. So when you're analyzing a deal, not, don't only look at your top line and bottom line revenue, try to consider all factors that come into play with your investments. And now back to the show. And then there are the returns. When investing in real estate, the re returns can be tremendous. Typically, cash flow is what people are after, but whether it's you living in a, a duplex or a triplex that you own and the other people are simply covering your mortgage payment, or if you have a single family rental property that's providing a couple hundred dollars of uh, cash flow each month and then you add to that and stack them together so you have a, a large revenue stream coming in, um, all the while the, the tenants are paying down the principal balance, and the true power behind it is being able to just stack those revenue streams on top of one another. So whether you have one, one unit or a four unit and you're, whatever that is providing you for cash flow or for your return, then you can go out and buy more. You can go out and invest in another property that's bringing you more passive income. And you can continue to layer those on one another, increasing your revenue stream. And then there's house flipping. So house flipping provides immediate capital for those flipping it, and it may not be viewed as an investment, but perhaps you're a, a cash provider. Maybe you're not a flipper, but you have money to invest, and there's other people that want to flip a house but don't have the money. You can put the money in and have it returned to you in the form of interest, or you can, cut, you can ask for a cut of the profit, or both. So again, the more creative you are, the, the, the possibilities become endless. And that brings me to the final point I want to make about real estate investing, and that is passive income and net worth. Those are truly the, the, the most powerful things behind real estate investing. So I've mentioned it several times already in this video, but passive income, whether it's from one individual property that provides you say $200 a month after all the bills are paid, you can go out and buy another one and have $400 a month, and so on and so on, and whatever you stack those passive income streams too, whatever that amount is, it might be to the point where you can live freely with your bills being paid from your investments. Or you may decide to continue working and take all of that passive income that's coming in every month and re continue to reinvest it. Depends on whatever your plan is, but over time, the more passive income that comes into you, you'll find the more freedom you have from finances and, your, and bills to give you the power to get out there and do whatever it is that you wanna do. But all the while that's taking place, there's people paying your mortgage down. So whatever you bought the property for initially, somebody else is paying that balance down for you. And over time, this is building you net worth. And it doesn't happen right away, it's a slow process. But if you invest in real estate and continue to invest in real estate, the more time that goes on, the stronger your net worth is gonna become. And this gives you the power to do a lot of things, whether that's go out and buy more properties, or leverage your net worth in different in various ways, the, the power that net worth gives you can be a very tremendous tool. I hope you've been able to see some of the benefits that real estate investing can provide. I've only covered a few brief categories, but I hope you can see that the possibilities and opportunities truly are endless. And once you get started, you'll see that the doors start opening for you and more opportunities will come. So keep educating yourself, learning, networking, and get out there and get started. Believe in yourself, and instead of it being a dream, you can make it a reality. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. If you like the show, please hit that subscribe and like button, and of course, go check out theinvestnest.com. And on that, we're gonna end the show with a quote from Theodore Roosevelt. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. This is Travis Murphy, your host of the Invest Nest Real Estate Investing Show. See you next time, everybody. Thank you for joining us on the InvestNest Real Estate Investing Show. Be sure to join the InvestNest.com and start learning and earning today.